Friends, welcome to Annie's Fun List, where we make Dollywood cinnamon bread. All I've done is get out the ingredients and the things I'll need, and I'm already frustrated. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go, but here we go. I've got the recipe pulled up from Southern Living, and it starts with mixing active dry yeast, water, and sugar. And I do that in one container. And then in the in my KitchenAid mixer, which is here, it's here, I do the other part. So here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. I got my warm water here. I've got my yeast here. Oh, I spilled it all over my computer. <laughs> okay. Three fourths of a teaspoon into water that is 110 degrees. I don't know. I got lots of advice just to get kind of close to that. And then a pinch of sugar. And then I gotta stir that up. I'm just gonna stir this up. Let's sit <clears throat> until foamy, five to eight minutes. Got it. Uh, meanwhile, whisk the bread flour. Oh, we gotta talk about this. I couldn't find bread flour, so we're just using regular flour, but they said that's okay. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. One tip. Going back to the recipe, half a teaspoon of salt. I mean, I got everything out. I just didn't really remember where I put it all. You get it. I meant to set a timer when I started that for five to eight minutes. I hope y'all aren't like yelling that I'm doing something wrong, but it's fine if you are. You're allowed to feel that. I just am gonna be embarrassed if you're yelling that I'm doing something wrong. One and a half cups of bread flour. My heart tells me I don't, I might not have quite enough. My mom always said, oh boy, oh, okay. What I was gonna tell you is mom always said, you gotta really m make sure your flour is level. This is a little bit too much. I got a pan here. I can just, yeah, it works out great. So there's one cup and then I need half a cup. Watch me, watch me. What if this is exactly, you know, I should just use a half cup measure. That's a smarter idea, isn't it? Oh, you guys, I just need you to see how very close we are to another half. Okay, this is when we problem solve. I have almond flour. Listen, I hear you yelling, I'm very sorry. I didn't know I was down to one and a fourth cups of flour. I'm only gonna use a fourth a cup of almond flour. I get, yes, it's a, I hear you, it's a different consistency. It does not have the amount of gluten. I know, I read about it because I thought I could replace the whole thing and they are like, you cannot replace the whole thing. And I was like, fine. You're supposed to whisk this in here. I don't know why. This is why Pioneer Woman has her kids doing this, videoing for her. It's very stressful. You guys, you can't even tell there's almond flour. You can't even see the difference. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be just fine. You guys, there was more flour. There was more flour. I just forgot. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna let it be. I'm gonna let it be and trust, trust myself. Wow, 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 wow. That was right there. We're gonna go melt the butter while I think about what I've done. While I was melting my butter, I also refilled my flour jar, so. That went great. The yeast is great. Now the girl in the um, Southern Living video, she let her butter cool before she put it in. I don't really have that kind of time. And she didn't really say why. And the recipe doesn't say it has to be cool. It just says add the yeast mixture and the melted butter, hot hot, <laughs> to the flour. So, okay, okay, that is in. And she, the girl, the, a lot of people have very fancy hooks. I just have this hook. I think this is the right kind of hook. And wowie zowie, just look at that yeast making all those bubbles. I mean, it smells just like when you go, like it's stupid to say, it smells like a bread shop or like, a, um, like when you go to a brewery. Shocking no one. That's actually what's happening at the brewery. Okay, then you start going, right? Knead with the dough hook on medium speed. Okay, okay. Until it is smooth and elastic, about eight minutes. You for 
appreciate how I cleaned up my kitchen before I invited you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always Andy stuff. Okay, let's scrape down the edges. And then I'll give you a shot right in here. It's really happening, look. Am I breaking bread rules by scraping down the side? There's just a lot. I mean, I know the gluten needs to build up and all the things, but there is just a lot going on on the edges. I'm sorry if you're screaming at me from a distance. I really am. It's not pulling together. I'm stressed something went wrong. I probably have enough to try one more time. Let it go the whole eight minutes, Downs. Let it go. Let it do its whole thing. It may need more flour. I know that's not what you want to hear. I'm not sure this is a good decision. I'm not one bit sure this is a good decision. That is what I was hoping for. I think it really, oh. <laughs> I think it really just needed more flour because I used that almond flour in that one spot. So give it a hit more flour. I know this isn't how you do this. I know this is not how you do this. Every bread baker in the world is furious with me right now. But it's working. All I can tell you is it's working. I don't know. All right, friends, rolled my sleeves up and I did it again from the very start. I heated the butter and I let it cool. I timed this so it's exactly eight minutes. I've got everything in here that's just flour, no almond flour. I've just gotta believe that something went a little askew the first time and we're gonna, this one's gonna be better. I just feel great about this one. Oh, there's already more bubbles. Okay, medium, it said medium. About eight minutes, I'm setting a timer again. Oh yeah, this one is different, you guys. Oh, this one's so different. It's so different. It's like pulling together. It's so different. I'm really glad I tried again. I am so glad I tried again. So different. I mean, that is so different, you guys. Look. Wow, wow, wow. It was very dry and the other one was very liquidy. I mean, the tiniest hit of water to get the last of that yeast out of there, out of the bottom. The nice girl on the Southern Living video has a much better hook than me for her thing. You're supposed to spray this. Okay, okay. You guys, it's so different. You're just not even ready for how different this one is. I mean, it is like one blob. That's more, that's significantly closer to, to the videos I watched. That's much better. Now we're doing a science experiment. We're doing a one-to-one. -one See what's gonna happen here. Apparently I'm making four loaves of cinnamon bread today. Now this sits on top of the fridge for 90 minutes. While I sit and think about my life and why I'm not better at this and what my grandmothers would say and what my mom's gonna say when she sees this. And my dad, for that matter, my dad cooks. And what Dolly's gonna think, I can't even go there. I've got my Dolly shirt on, I switched it up. That's the alarm going off saying, that dough number one is ready to be punched. So, you know how I feel about dough number one. But, shh, looking good, maybe, looking good. It's warm, does that surprise anyone? Punch down the dough, doesn't really need much punching. Transfer it to a workspace, and then knead it a few times. You guys, I don't think this is right. But, that's what we knew with bread one. We knew bread one might be a bit of a problem. How is that supposed to be two loaves of bread? I ask you, how is that supposed to be two loaves of bread? I feel like that's one loaf of bread. Let's just see what happens. Gym, gently shake, no, this is one loaf. This is one loaf. There's just not enough. There's not enough space. You guys, I just don't think this is enough for two loaves. I asked my friend Emma before we started because even the cute uh, Southern Living girl, I think people have told me her name is Ivy, she said she wished she'd have done one loaf. I would have probably just put this entire recipe into one loaf pan. I said to Emma, do I do one loaf? And Emma said, no, do two loaves. But Emma didn't know I was gonna screw it up this much. Well, I'm sure she did in her heart, but she didn't express that. Something foreign in the top. Fine, fine, fine. I mean, even that is a tiny loaf. To be, to be real, that's a tiny loaf. So you're supposed to spray it. <sighs> My gracious. Cover it again. Correct? Let rise another hour. Okay. All right, everybody. I think, yeah, something went wrong here. I'm gonna give that guy 
an hour. Quick note, from start to finish, this process is gonna take me approximately six hours, which is why I don't bake bread. <laughs> I know this stuff is great. I'd rather drive three hours to Dollywood and eat it there than this. But desperate times, people, desperate times. I'm a very good cook. Like, I can make food. This just isn't food. Okay, so I've got one and two, and now I'm going to melt the butter and make all the things to dip everybody into. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? This is how I'm spending my time. I don't know. Okay, I've got the butter here melted. This is a trick I learned from Ivy as well, to spray this, my tablespoon thing, <laughs> my measure, measuring spoon with uh, Pam spray. I know I have the one that has flavoring, uh, it's fine. Um, and then it'll come right off, the cornstarch comes right off your spoon, which is very helpful indeed. It's not sticky at all. So that's success. We've got that in our favor. My uncle gave me the cutest measuring cups for Christmas. I'm honored to get to use them now. I do already have regrets. You know I do. I have absolute regrets over this whole thing. <laughs> it's so hard, but I also just got a text message because I complained to a friend and said, this was a dumb idea. And the friend said, hard does not mean dumb. Well, if I needed a preacher, I'd have called a preacher, but thank you, you're right. Call that, I mean, to be fair, can you do too much sugar? No, you really can't. You really, really can't. I forgot to get the cinnamon. I just thought, wouldn't it be the laugh of all laughs if I was out of cinnamon? I'm not. One tablespoon, ground cinnamon. I know you can do the little other doorway to the cinnamon, but it felt complicated in the moment. Okay, there we go. I should also go ahead and tell you, I made the executive choice not to do the dipping stuff because the first time Emma, my friend Emma and I had the cinnamon bread, we did not have it with the dipping stuff, the dipping sauce. And to be fair, I'm gonna sound bougier than I am, maybe. It's just a, um, it's just an icing. It's just a confection sugar icing and that's not as interesting to me. So I'm using the back of the spoon, food blogger alert, because there were chunks I couldn't get out. We're ready for you, bread, whenever you're ready to be risen indeed. Okay, so here they both are. Number one, number two, they've both proofed and doubled in size. And this one actually took less time. I don't know, I can't keep up. Now you're supposed to do four slits and be aggressive about it and it's gonna deflate. So here we go. One, oh boy. Two, that's, that's aggressive, Annie, that is aggressive, wow. Three, I was gonna use a serrated knife. I thought this would be better. I'm not sure it is at all, actually. Four, that's, yeah, that's not great. One, oh, this one's much better. Look at the difference. Whoa, I sliced all the way through. Three, oh, this one, yeah. This one's different, they're just different. Look at this guy, bless him, God bless him. Now, let me tell you another reason this is better at Dollywood than in Annie's Kitchen, is because they don't just touch this in the butter, they like, it's a vat they dip it in. So I'm just gonna rub the butter and corn syrup, oh my, all over that guy. Transfer him here. Cover him with cinnamon sugar, just absolutely covering him. That is what they do. I've watched the ladies do it more times than you're gonna wanna believe. I have seen them do this. They make sure cinnamon gets in all of the crevasses, the crevices. This has been a long, arduous journey, but the end result is beautiful. Okay, that's going in there. That is our number two loaf. I'll hold them up for just a second. Okay, remember this was our first one. I mean, y'all, did I make pizza dough on accident? I don't even, oh boy, okay. And then you're supposed to take the leftover things and sprinkle it over. I'm gonna show you both in just a second. Loaf one, <laughs> loaf two. That looks way more like Dolly Land, like Dollywood, like Grist Mill. But y'all, as if we need another reason to just keep going to Dollywood, it's that this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. 
they delicious. Fine. Okay, they're going in the oven. <laughs> Been at this for four hours. Four hours, you guys. Four hours of my life. Friends, they're out of the oven. They smell delicious. I'm very scared to tip this. Yeah, I am. Number one, that had a little bit of almond flour in it. Number two, they both look very beautiful on top. There they are. They're beautiful. Okay. Okay, it's very fluffy. It's still steaming. <laughs> feels, feels dangerous to put in my mouth, but it tastes good. I'm more impressed than I thought I'd be. <laughs> not with myself, with the recipe. I'm not impressed. Oh, also beautiful. Steaming. Nice, nice dough to it. It tastes different. I don't know why. It may be that little bit of almond flour in that one. To me, they're both a success. Very good. A lot of work, work, a lot of hours. Let me tell you where I am at the end of this. Five hours, no question, the right answer is, is in trying times like these, we have to make our own Dollywood bread. In real life, let's just go to Dollywood. It's better, the bread is better, they are professionals at it. When you're home, make this if you want, or just make monkey bread. Monkey bread, I think, is so much easier than this. It's not the taste of the bread, the bread's great, it's just a ton of work. I'd rather just go to Dollywood. It's one of my very favorite places on the planet. So, let's just go to Dollywood and meet up at the Grist Mill, okay? Woo, so there's this week's Annie's Fun List. I wanna hear your thoughts. Tell me what you think about cinnamon bread, tell me what you think about monkey bread down in the comments, I'll be responding. Tell me if you saw me do something wrong that would have made this go right. I am glad I made it two loaves instead of four, that's for sure. Whew. All right, friends, another Annie's Fun List in the books. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Ooh.